What's going on ladies and gentlemen? We got a parcel! Can you imagine? Some new climbing holes arrived, this time from Poland actually, from Henry. Big thanks right away and we're gonna unpack them together. I'm already super excited to see what's in this parcel. Uh, I think it's gonna be awesome, to be very very honest with you. Let's rip it. Here we go. Ooh. Look at that. 45er. Can be an edge or an undercling or a pinch even. Nice. Wow. Mm -hmm. Look at that. That's his slopers. Um, this is gonna be super hard to hold on the wall, I think. Maybe we can make something more compression like ah look at that beautiful sticker on there. Oh ah this is something interesting here. And you look at these screws here. That's because this is actually um, supposed to be an undercling. Yeah. So I think it's gonna go on the wall like this. And that's gonna be interesting because that's gonna be super tough to hold as well. That looks nice, man. That looks really, really good. Oh, something smaller there. A little bit of an undercling maybe as well. Also slightly sanded in a pinchy way, as you can see. Wow, this really looks amazing. Super smooth. And I also really like the texture of the, the wood, the graininess. Ah, that's what I've been looking forward a lot. Look at this beautiful pocket. Damn, that feels super hard, man. It's super smooth inside, but looks amazing. Wow, look at this, look at this pattern there. This really looks amazing. I'm really looking forward to mounting this one. Maybe I have to sand it a little bit better inside here. Oh, and here we have another one of the, of the underclings. There's more, wow, wow. Look at that. One more of these guys here. And even one more. I think the, the edges here, they are a little bit sharp. I'm gonna sand them a little bit more around, as well as here. And um, then they should make for perfect holes, even with the screws. Thanks a lot, Henry, that's amazing. There's more screws here. And of course, some stickers. All right, so here we've got the whole package. You can reach him, by the way, at 45er at gmail.com if you're interested in some amazing wooden holds from Poland. Uh, I gotta say thank you a lot, Henry. Have you, have you got the close-ups of the, of the hold already? <laughs> no, I think it's, uh, yeah, this is amazing. Can't wait to set them and also to climb on these, really. But before our full attention goes to the new holes, I want to catch up with you on the sloper problem, on the hemisphere problem. I featured those holes in a separate video. <laughs> what an amazing uh, problem, really. It's number 26. I say 7C plus slash 8A slash plus or something along these lines because of course you can do this boulder in two ways. As you can imagine, this is the right version. And as you can see, I mean, this went down quite solidly, I must say, in the first session. I just love how you have to always play the piano on these kind of holes. You always have to resort your fingers perfectly, you have to hit those holes perfectly. And therefore it is required actually that you are already really solid on your starting holes, you know. So as I said, this was the right version, and this is now the left version. Now, as a one-sided climber, uh, I have the sad fate, of course, that one of these symmetry problems is always harder than the other, and this is the harder version. This is why I say slash 8a slash plus or something, because this really felt like, uh, I don't know, 8a slash plus at the beginning. The only reason why I didn't call it uh, 8a plus from the beginning is that I know that these kind of holds, because they're pinchy and really specific, they take a bit of adaption time, you know? but once you're adapted to them, you can actually quite solidly make the moves. And one of the moves that was super hard for me was this uh, second move here. If you look at the left uh, problem here, 
boom was much more active on the right side here when going with the right hand for this hold compared to the left hand where i'm super straight super you know non not so active and i suppose this is because you know as a one-sided climber my left arm tends to be better at locking off things while my right arm tends to be better at catching things and in this move uh, this really shines this mechanism really shines because yeah just hits the right arm where it's the weakest the, the weakest with the locking off and the left arm where it is the weakest uh, with the catching so let's take a look at that again as i said for this uh, i needed two sessions or even three i don't know anymore but the, the other version you know the right version went down in the first session essentially for when i mounted the hemispheres so here almost for the first time sticking this move from the ground and i think in this shot here i stuck it for the first time on the ground, a beautiful piano playing is a different perspective. I call this the claw, man. Look at this gripping technique here. Here we got the claw. I mean, are these slopers? Can you call these slopers? Not necessarily. I mean, if I would have to characterize them, I would say these are rather big pinches. Uh, very active thumb, very, very active every single finger on the claw, so to speak. Uh, yeah, let's have a look at the ascent finally. You're really solid, really slowly on on the second move already. And that's what I mean, you know, you kind of get adapted to these holds really quickly. This is what a good training wall is all about, right? We want to set problems that feel super hard in the beginning, but then we can adapt, then we can train with them. And once we're strong enough, we can tick them off and add them to the collection. So let's take a look at this guy here, number 27, 7C slash V9 or something like this. Of course, when I did the sloper boulder, I wanted to make just, you know, other regular standard problems involving the sloper, involving one of the slopers at least. And here we've got this uh, this three finger pocket, the slopey three finger pocket featured again. Uh, beautiful lock off there with a the flag to the sloper and then kind of a hard move to the top. And of course, this is another problem which you can do symmetrically, right? Or at least more or less symmetrically. I mean, the half, the hemisphere sloper problem is perfectly symmetrical. This is not perfectly symmetrical, but really, really similar. And here again, the inability of my left hand to just simply crank down hard stuff uh, with finger strength shows. Because I can't really crank down this three finger pocket there for this move. Um, so yeah. Uh, tough maybe in the future number 28 7c plus slash with 10 another problem involving one of the hemispheres got this beautiful move here to this small little crimp where we have to play the piano again matching and then beautiful lock off there to the sloper and here a nice dyno from the sloper to this edge uh, which actually took me a couple of attempts uh, so this is why it gets the 7c plus grade Another problem here, uh, and this is finally featuring the new holes that we got from the parcel from Henry, and I gotta say these holes are just amazing, man. I had to send some of these a little bit more to suit them for my needs. As you can see, we've got a big right hand move here to this positive edge, and then sorting in the undercling on these two uh, half ball footholds there. Beautiful move to the top. Now, of course, you could also do this the other way around, right? But before we look at that, we um, have a different perspective here, just to give you an impression on how this underclean, uh, what this underclean looks like. Uh, as you can see, I've sanded it a little bit more positive because otherwise it would just be too hard to hold for me in a couple of instances. So now we're going with the left hand for the first edge, which means we have to sort in the underclean with the right hand, right? And so we see this is possible as well. Just a little bit of a crossing over into this underclean then. And although it doesn't look really spectacular than the other version, I would say it's actually a good grade harder, I would say. If I had to grade this, it's rather 7C compared to the first version. Of course, it would also be interesting to go into the underclean right away, right? and make one of these ins undercling, uh, you know, sorting ins. But this is just crazy hard, I found. So this is maybe something for the future. We will see. Number 30, 7C plus V10 again. Another beautiful problem, I have to say. Involving the new two finger pocket. And this is just another amazing hold, man. Super active to hold. We again have to use the technique that we discussed on the topic, uh, on the on the pocket video. Uh, you know, a little bit more active on the two finger pocket. Not completely open here. A little bit more into the half crimp direction. 
this allows us to lock it off properly for the next move. And then we gotta sort in this heinous undercling that I made myself with the left hand. It's a different perspective on that uh, to give you an impression on how bad this actually is. It's just beautiful sorting in these side pull underclings like that. And then we've got a beautiful move, big move to the top, uh, which was actually the crux of this problem, sticking the top move from the ground. So let's see it again here. You know, stepping, locking it off, bam, and sorting in the undercling with a nice dynamic move to the top. Boom. So yeah, these are problems. 26 to 30. 30 moves, 30 problems, I should say, on the home wall already. That's amazing. I hope you're crashing out there somewhere as well. I'll see you soon in the next one, guys. Bye.